So the next one I'm going to touch on is the durables management. So durables management will consist of transmitter. Um, in our term, transmitter is outgoing. Submittals are incoming. Okay, When people send it to you, they are called submittals. When you're sending out, they are called transmitter. Okay, So there will be requests for information uh, for you to uh, use it for asking questions to different uh, stakeholders. Um, that is the RFI. And if you want to send a correspondence, you can use the general course correspondence module to send your letter, your memo, or whatsoever that you can name off. So um, creating transmitter from ProjectWise is quite simple. So it gives you a tracking of your transmitter packages so that you can track them. You know who is holding the uh, transmitter packages. Um, you distribute the transmitter packages to the correct people. And if it's not, um, let's say the document are not tagged properly, the system will do a data validation to check whether you put in the correct metadata. And once the person receives the transmitter, they will get an email notification, email alerts. Okay, let's take an example of how this system works. So you invite your own team members into this project. You can invite external party as well to the project to collaborate with you. So I click on the durables management. So I will have incoming and outgoing uh, transmitter. Okay, so uh, incoming tab and outgoing tabs. So incoming, I have all the, uh, I can create a new transmitter from here. Okay, so inside new transmitter, I have a document tab. I can attach the file from the synchronized folder just now that I did a synchronized folderization to local. So uh, those files I uploaded to the cloud, I'm going to click, click select this file. So after selecting the file, the documents will define the attributes. You can put in description, put in this discipline, put in um, zone, phase, up to you. You can define in your project, okay? So this is for you to define, and then you define how many kind of attributes you want to uh, attach to this document for your project. So there'll be drop downs for you to choose. Then the first tab is the general tab for you to put in the subject heading. And then what is the purpose for review, for uh, approval, okay? So if you choose a distribution matrix, you don't have to type in the uh, recipient name. So I can classify my transmitter, this is architecture. So if I click the recipient names, now it's already there because I have the distribution matrix, okay? So uh, I can add more users if I want to, um, do you have one acknowledge tab and respond tab. I can remove them if I don't want it to respond, don't want that person to respond. So in the document, I have put in my document with attributes. So if I choose the wrong attribute, the system will give me error because based on distribution, validation is wrong. Okay, I must choose the right one. So in the schedule, I can put two days to acknowledge, seven days to respond. Okay, there's nothing in the response tab, then I can click the issue to issue out this transmitter. So before issuing out, you have a transmitter cover letter that you can put your company logo, that you will pull your uh, attributes into the transmitter cover letter. So I search a system outgoing and I search filter and I can see this uh, transmitter is sent out already and out, the person will get an email notification. Then email, when you click the link, you will go and do the review. So this is how you send out a transmitter to someone. So on the submitter side, incoming from uh, when you receive a, a submitter, how the person will review? They will review from web browser, go through the Internet Explorer or Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome, they can just access to the uh, uh, so-called the submitter that we receive. So by clicking the link, they will bring you to this exactly this the transmitter that you receive or submitter that you receive. Okay, 
so you can review and respond. So how this is thing, this thing work is the person, if not, it can go into the deliverables management and then you can see the different color on the left hand side. Okay, click the acknowledge button, different color meaning different priorities. So once you click the acknowledge button, you can start to respond. So by doing the respond, you can have different documents. You have two documents here. You can open up and see, you can put a status. If this document approved, you don't have to do anything. You just put approve. Okay. If the next bot document approved with comments or accepted with comments, you can attach the commented file. So the response status is up to you to define for your project. Okay, so once you're ready, you click the send button and that response will go back to the uh, sender. Okay, so this is how you handle electronically on tracking the responses on the transmitter. Okay, so uh, this is a very, uh, uh, maybe a very simple and basic way of uh, uh, receiving and uh, receiving and responding to your uh, submittals. We have another way if you are doing an online PDF markup, which means you can actually mark up the PDF files on the submit itself. So you don't have to download, print out, mark up, scan, and re upload. Okay, so you can reduce that uh, the task. Okay, so by, res by the clicking on the durables management, you will go into durables management again. And now this time I'm going to use a, a online markup. So I click on the respond tab. So I open up the respond and here on the right hand side, you can see the review documents. So when I click the review document, I can do a cloud on this PDF drawings. Okay, I can choose different color to cloud my uh, drawings. I can put comment onto the drawing. I can choose the size, different font size to type in my comment. I can even put a flag to create an issue from this um, uh, drawing. So I just pull an issue, I put a flag and the form will come up. So I can put a subject saying that, okay, this is offset by 50 mm and then assign to someone. Okay, once you assign to someone, this person will get an email notification. So it's still unresolved. So I want to assign this to someone. You can see on the right hand side all the list of issues. So by clicking the issue resolution, you can see an issue register with a register here. Okay, so you click on the register, you can see all the information collected. You can see all the things that are assigned to you. Uh, by clicking the link on the right hand side, okay, they also receive an email notification. So by clicking on the link on the right hand side of the table here, you will go back to the same screen here. So you, you no need to go and find which drawings. So you can actually put your comment and reply on this particular issue. Once you have done that, you put re resolve. Uh, let's say I'm the owner of this, I can put resolve and then update the issue. So once updated, uh, you will send out email notification again. So after you have done all, you can put a comment on this, final comment on this uh, drawing. Say approve with comments. And then I go back here. Uh, then I can see that it's uh, already uh, the next drawing I put approve. So then it's time for me to send the response, okay? So this is a more automatic way of responding by using the markup tools online. Okay, so uh, this is an integrated uh, of the project-wise durables management submittals together with the online PDF markup. <coughs> so, sorry. So on the durables management process, uh, you have the originator who uploads the document, tag the metadata onto the transmitter, and then send a transmitter to a coordinator, a reviewers, or the lead reviewers can be your lead architect, lead engineer. And if he can respond, he will respond to you. But if he cannot, he can forward 
to more reviewers internally or externally externally so uh, each of them can give a status okay so by giving the status it will come back to the coordinator for the coordinator to consolidate all the comments from the consultants and then update the final status before returning to the originator okay so this will close the loop and will respond back to the originator uh, transmitter so if this transmitter there are still one or two drawings that are still not approved then you will send the second cycle a uh, second version of the transmitter so the first version uh, will be the a version the second version of the transmitter package will have the dash b okay so all this will be threaded in the system same for rfi process the originator the sender can prepare the rfi issue to the coordinator and respond back to the sender or if he thinks that he needs some more uh, additional reviewer he can forward this rfi to many parties each of them can give a comment and respond back to the coordinator coordinator can just click summarize it will summarize all the comments together or remove one or two comments from the consolidated comments and then respond back to the sender so the sender can either accept or reject if accepted the rfi will be closed if rejected the rfi will go into the second cycle until the all the rfi uh, question has been closed up then you will close the accepted uh, the rfi will be accepted and closed out so the first cycle the second cycle and third cycle all this rfi related <coughs> comments are all linked together and the third one on durables management is on general correspondence so general correspondence can be like things like letter memorandum that you want to create so you can label that general correspondence to letter or memo or uh, site memo up to you so in the system is flexible so you can send to multiple people so user one required to respond you put a date seven days to respond user two you never put a date so there is no need for user two to respond so user one once they respond it goes back to the sender but user two if he decides if he decided that he need he wanted to add comments he also can respond back to organization one and organization one that user feels that you need to continue with the conversation you still can issue and continue and reply to the same thread and that all the conversation will be in the same threading 